Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching. Georgia Bear Reviews, back at you today with another one. And what I am looking at is the Terrapin Los Bravos Mexican-style lager, 5.1% alcohol by volume. Not sure what the IBUs are, but they do say on the label, Los Bravos Mexican-style lager is crisp, slightly sweet, and is perfectly balanced by using three varieties of hops. With its roots firmly planted from traditional Vienna-style lagers, this beer complements any spicy dish and helps keep any Fiesta fuel. <clears throat> I have never had this beer before. I do love Mexican beers, so let's see how this one stacks up. It's a Mexican-style lager, not an actual Mexican lager because it is brewed in Athens, Georgia. Terrapin Beer Company has been owned by Miller Coors since 2016, so not really a craft brewery anymore. But the distribution for Terrapin beers since 2016 has skyrocketed. So if you're interested in trying this beer or any of the other Terrapin beers that I review on my channel, chances are you might actually be able to find them now. So let's go ahead and give this thing a pour, see what we're working with. This beer was canned three and a half weeks ago, so very fresh sample here. There's your pour. Very nice head. Creamy looking head at that. About a three finger head. A light golden appearance. A few streaming bubbles going up the glass. It looks like your typical Mexican lager. 5.1%. Pretty standard alcohol for this type of beer. Actually, a little bit higher. A uh, lot are right at five, some four and a half. Victoria is like 4.2 or maybe 4%. So, this is a little bit higher, actually. Leave it to the Americans to amp the ABV up of uh, Mexican lager. It says on the label, Cervezas por Todos, which I believe translates to beer for all. So the aroma, not necessarily a traditional Mexican-style lager aroma. You are getting the barley malt. You are getting um, the, that base of a Mexican beer. But the three different hop varieties that they're using in this, wow, they're really shining through on the aroma. You could probably look up what the actual hop varieties that they use are on the website. I wish I had done that before I started this video, but no going back now. Maybe I'll post it in the description of the video. But if not, they do have a pretty decent website that you can check out for more information on the beer. Some nice hop character, some grassy hop character, a little herbal note coming through. Malty, hoppy. It smells really good. Maybe a like lemon peel, a little citrus note in there, a little lemon zest, maybe. It smells like a winner, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this brew. Cheers, guys. Oh, man, that's good. Nice and malty initially. You're getting a little bit of sweetness, some nice hop character. Follows shortly after that initial malt forward presentation that you're getting. Some citrus, some earthy hop notes. The breadiness in the middle of the sip. It's almost like a wheat bread note. Um, but definite, really pleasant bread notes in the middle of the sip. The finish is crisp, clean, refreshing, dry. Sessionability at 5.1% is through the roof. As to be expected with this style Beer Mexican lagers are, you know, sessionable brews. You can drink them all day. Great for hotter temperatures as well. I mean, Mexico, very hot climate. So excellent all-day drinking beer. That little bit of lemon zest from the hop character that I'm picking up on, along with the other earthy hop notes that I'm picking up on, really make this beer... They just set it over the top. This is better than most Mexican lagers that I've had. It's just, it's simple, yet it's got some complex flavor notes that 
you can really break down and get into if you want to, or you can just drink it, not really think about it, and say, wow, this is a damn good beer, and, you know, that'll do it for most people. Not everybody's trying to review beer and break down all the different flavor components. This is just an excellent beer. Like I said, it's bready. It's got that nice small four presentation that you get with most Mexican-style lagers or Mexican lagers. The thing that sets this apart is the nice hop complexity that I'm getting, the lemon peel, the earthy notes. Uh, it's still, of course, light-bodied, crisp, clean, refreshing, dry with some nice carbonation to go along with it. It looks like a good standard Mexican lager. You could put a lime in this if you want. A lot of people do that with Mexican lagers. I would not recommend doing it with this one because the hop character adds that nice complexity and depth of flavor that you don't necessarily get with a lot of standard Mexican lagers. Uh, there's no adjunct type taste. A lot of times with Mexican lagers, you get that maize or corn adjunct. Um, I'm not tasting any adjunct really with this. Uh, the hops just kind of, if there is an adjunct in here, which I'm assuming there is, most Mexican lagers do have the corn adjunct. Uh, which is the one main component that separates them from the German beers, because after all, um, Mexican lagers came from Germany. Uh, German immigrants created this style. So very interesting and unique take on a Mexican lager. Some nice complexity, great flavor, light, refreshing. What more could you ask for with this type of beer? Let me get another sip here and stop blabbing for a second before I give you my rating. That is an easy drinking heck of a brew. Love the artwork as well. Kind of have the the skull there, kind of like Day of the Dead type thing, you know. It's a very big holiday celebrated in Mexico. Dia de los Muertes. Awesome beer, 97 out of 100. One of the best Mexican-style lagers that I've ever had. Uh, the hop character and complexity really sets this over the top. I have a fresh sample as well. You definitely want to buy this one fresh. Drink it fresh. Don't let it age as you can with some of the other Mexican beers just because there's not a ton of hop character. and It would last longer shelf life-wise. This is something you want to drink super fresh to get the maximum benefit from all the awesome hops that they're using in here. Three different hop varieties. You don't typically get that with a Mexican beer, so... Outstanding. 97 out of 100, guys. That'll do it for this beer review. Hope you all having a wonderful day. Until next time, everybody. Cheers.